In this demo, we are going to look at how to automate the process of deploying a secure application on the Big IP. We are going to leverage the native FI Ansible modules as well as Ansible Tower in order to define or automate the workflow below. We are going to onboard the Big IPs, create an HA, a high availability pair between the Big IPs, network the Big IP, and then deploy the application. Let's look at the various components that we are going to use as part of the demo. The playbooks are placed on GitHub. Ansible Tower is going to pull the playbooks from the GitHub and then execute those playbooks on a virtual edition of the FI Big IP. Let's start by looking at the Ansible Tower where an inventory has been defined with groups and hosts. There are two groups. One is the FI Big IP group, which consists on, of two different hosts on which the playbooks are going to be run against. The other group is that of the web servers or the application servers, or if you want to call them node members that are be, going to be added to the FI Big IP pool. The credentials are also defined on Ansible Tower. The credential is of type network, and this provides the username and the password that is going to be used in order to log into the Big IP to execute the playbooks. Let's look at the workflow that we are going to execute. The workflow consists of different playbooks that are going to be executed in the order defined. In our workflow, we are going to have a different playbook to execute onboarding, creating an HA, deploying the network, and then the application. Going back to the workflow, we also have a survey. A survey consists of different parameters that can be passed when executing the workflow. Before we execute the workflow, let's have a look at the big IPs. The big IPs to start with are in standalone mode and they have no configuration, application and or network. Now let's execute the workflow and provide input through the survey. Here we are providing the pool name as the input. Once we launch the workflow, different playbooks are going to be executed. So the first one being executed here is onboarding big IPs. Let's have a look at the details of what gets executed. If we look at the playbook, right now it's configuring NTP servers, big IP host names, as well as DNS information on the big IPs. Going back to the workflow, once it's successful, it's now configuring an HA pair. Let's take a look at the big IPs to see the HA configuration in action. We see in the red box right now, the big IP is in standalone mode. As the playbook is executed, the HA is being formed. The big IP goes from standalone mode to in sync and it also creates a device group right now consisting of zero members. It moves it to one, and then it adds two members to the HA pair. Going back to the workflow, once the HA is created, it then configures the network and the application. If we look at the big IP, right now self IPs, including floating IPs, have been added and the application has been deployed. The virtual server and a redirect virtual server. The virtual server is assigned a pool and the pool has pool members that are sitting behind the pool. Now let's move a step further and see how we can manage certificates and certificate profiles on the big IP, as well as the ASM and WAF policy. 
Let's look at the big IP. Right now, the big IP does not have any custom certs or profile that have been created. Let's take a look at the virtual server. The virtual server is assigned a client SSL profile, which is the default profile present on the big IP. And under security, it does not have any ASM policy that's been assigned to it. Let's move our attention back to Tower and execute a playbook that's going to install certificates on the big IP, create a SSL profile, and also create and upload a ASM policy. Let's go back to the big IP. And if we look at the ASM policy, we see a new ASM policy by the name of demo has been added to the big IP. We also see that a SSL profile has been created with a new key and cert that was uploaded through the playbook. When we go to the big IP virtual server, we see now that the newly created SSL profile has been added to the virtual server and also the newly uploaded ASM policy has been assigned to the virtual server. This brings us to the end of the demo. Thank you for watching.